Excellent. Yeah, so I'm just going to do a quick presentation on the LDAP Gather module that I added recently. So if you just want to play the video here. So this is just a quick run through the module, um, just so that you know. Uh, I've got a Windows Server 2002 up here. Uh, this is set up in an Active Directory configuration. We'll be logging in with the normal user. The module does require that you have um, authenticated access to the LDAP server. Um, but beyond that, you sh should be able to do anything as a normal user. You don't require any special privileges to run this module. So um, I'm just going to go ahead here and quickly uh, add in the login information. So for those wondering, if you just want to just pause the video quickly here. Um, we do need to set the bind DN, which is also the username essentially, to the email format. Uh, we are adding support for doing the normal, uh, I guess you would call it like NetBIOS or normal active directory authentication kind of way of doing things without the email format, uh, but that's still in the works last I checked. So um, for now, you will need to use this email format. Uh, so if you just want to play the video. Um, just going to go ahead and set the Aarhus uh, information here. I'm just um, going to skip past this. This is just me trying to figure out how to type the IP address in quickly. But um, yeah, we do have a number of different options uh, for this particular module, which I'll show you shortly. The default one is uh, usually just to enumerate the account, but um, we're going to set a custom action here just to make it a little bit different. I would actually want to get the computer information here. So you can see we got the uh, all of the computers that the LDAP server knows about, um, and as well as some additional information. So you can see the, the object information that's, uh, that's displayed by that new asterisk. And then we got the individual fields as well. So description, display name, and a couple other fields here. Uh, for another example, let's run domain controllers in iteration so we can get all of the uh, domain controllers. What I'm showing you here is that we don't have to specify the base domain name. It will actually figure it out for you um, if you don't specify it. So the build feature. Um, and you can double check that this is actually the domain controllers by the organizational unit or OU that uh, is returned for the object. So we're now just double checking that and you can see we've got the host name and um, also the operating system version, which I was just highlighting there earlier. Uh, finally, I'm just showing the actions here. We do have a couple other options. So we can run a single query. So a custom query that you specify, you can run a single query. If you just want to pause it here, I'll just explain a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that allows you to use uh, two parameters, which are not shown by default. And we, we don't show them by default just to prevent confusion. Um, since otherwise you might think that they're required, where in reality, they're only required for the run single query. But if you do use run single query, um, there are two extra parameters named query filter and query attributes. This allows you to specify a custom LDAP query that you want to run. And then also the uh, with the attributes, you can specify the specific fields that you want to get from that uh, query result. So in the example above, I was showing um, some sample fields like domain name, the operating system version, et cetera, you can query for those specifically and build up your own list of um, information. And the run query file is kind of an expansion on that using YAML files or JSON files um, that are specified by the query file parameter, which requires the full path to the file on disk uh, where you have these um, set of YAML files containing the queries that you want to run. We have a couple of defaults. Uh, in the Metasploit framework itself to kind of give you a template to work with, but you can essentially use that to build, um, like say you want to run 10 queries that you commonly run against a target environment, you can create a sample YAML file that will basically every time that you specify one query, 
file and then specify it as YAML file. It will go through and run those 10 queries along with any um, attribute filtering that you want. So you always get those queries being run and the exact uh, attributes that you want, and it will just run that automatically. So it's kind of an expansion on single one single query, but if you want to run multiple queries at the same time with custom queries and custom filters. So yeah, that's it.